Hello and welcome to this short information video. I would like to thank you for listening and hope the video will help you understand a little more about family history and breast cancer risk. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Leslie McFall and I'm a nurse practitioner working in the Family History Clinic in the Belfast City Hospital. There are family history clinics in each of the five health and social care trusts in Northern Ireland and are under the umbrella of the breast units within each trust. We understand you may feel anxious if you've been referred to a family history clinic for assessment due to your family history of breast cancer. The aim of this video is to guide and support you through that process. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in the UK. One in eight will be diagnosed over their lifetime. If one or more of your close family members have been diagnosed with breast cancer or a related cancer, including ovarian, prostate or pancreatic cancer, you may have concerns about your own risk of developing breast cancer. You should discuss these concerns with your GP. Your GP may refer you to your local family history clinic for further assessment if you answer yes to any of the following. One first degree relative who has had breast cancer before the age of 40. One first degree male relative who has had breast cancer at any age one first degree relative who has had breast cancer in both breasts, known as bilateral breast cancer at any age, one first degree or second degree relative who has had breast cancer at any age, and one first degree or second degree relative who has had ovarian cancer at any age. Three or more first or second degree relatives who have had breast cancer at any age, you can also see first steps to finding out about your family history in the further information section below this video. Prior to a family history clinic appointment, you may be asked to complete a questionnaire about your family history. You should try and find out as much about your family history as you can from your relatives, so that an accurate assessment of your risk can be carried out. The information you provide will be entered into a computer program and your individual risk of developing breast cancer will be calculated. Based on your family history, your risk will be estimated as being near population risk, moderate risk, high risk or potentially very high risk. Very high risk means that there may be a genetic mutation within your family and the Regional Genetic Service may want to investigate this further. This will be explained in more detail later on. Women in Northern Ireland have a 1 in 8 or 12.5% chance of developing breast cancer in their lifetime. If you are considered to be at moderate risk due to your family history, this will increase to an estimated 17-30% to chance of developing breast cancer over a lifetime. High risk is described as being greater than 30% chance, but not as high as women who carry a cancer-causing gene. More detailed information can be found in the further information section below this video. It is difficult to hear that you may have an increased risk of breast cancer, but often that can be viewed as positive, so that we can explain choices and options you have to try and reduce the risk including additional breast screening. The type of screening you will be offered depends on your age and your level of risk. If you're considered near population risk, you will not require any additional screening beyond what is offered by the National Health Service Breast Screening Programme, which is three yearly mammograms between the ages of 50 to 70. You should, however, continue to be breast aware and perform regular breast self-examinations. If you are considered at moderate risk of developing breast cancer, you will be offered annual mammograms between the age of 40 and 49, 
and then enter the National Health Service breast screening programme from 50. If you're considered to be at high risk of developing breast cancer, you will be offered annual mammograms between the age of 40 and 59, and you will then enter the National Health Service breast screening programme from 60. Remember that breast cancer is very common, and although you may have several relatives who have had breast cancer, this does not mean that there is a cancer-causing gene in your family. It is estimated that 5-10% to of breast cancers are the result of inherited gene mutations. Based on the number of relatives diagnosed with breast or ovarian cancer and the ages at which they are diagnosed, there may be a suspicion that a genetic mutation or faulty gene runs in your family. This is especially the case if these affected relatives are over multiple generations. An onward referral to the regional genetic service may be made and they will decide if testing is an option for you. If you're found to be a carrier of a gene mutation and therefore considered to be at very high risk, your screening may involve a combination of mammograms and MRI scans at an earlier age. Your family history or breast surgery team will discuss ways of managing your risk, which may include risk-reducing surgery. More information on some of the genetic mutations and cancer risks can be found in the further information section below this video. There are things that you can do that may reduce your risk of developing breast cancer, breast screening, lifestyle factors, risk-reducing drugs and risk-reducing surgery. We have mentioned the screening options earlier and while additional screening will not prevent breast cancer, it can pick up very early breast cancers. If you are at increased risk, the benefits of breast screening usually outweigh the risks. A healthy lifestyle can decrease the risk of breast cancer, even in women at high risk. Limit your alcohol intake. The more alcohol you drink, the greater your risk of developing breast cancer. The general recommendation based on research on the effect of alcohol and breast cancer is to limit yourself to no more than one drink a day, as even small amounts increase risk. Maintain a healthy weight. If your weight is healthy, work to maintain that weight. Reduce the number of calories that you eat each day and slowly increase the amount of exercise. Being physically active. Physical activity can help you maintain a healthy weight, which helps to prevent breast cancer. Most healthy adults should aim for at least 150 minutes a week of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity weekly, plus strength training at least twice a week. Research has shown that drugs used to treat breast cancer, anti-estrogen tablets, can also be offered to women who do not have breast cancer to reduce the risk of developing an estrogen-dependent breast cancer, and so may be offered to you after discussing the benefits and side effects. Links to the leaflets can be found in the further information section below this video. Risk-reducing surgery may be an option for some women at very high risk, as mentioned before. Usually, breast reconstruction will be offered. Surgery greatly reduces your risk, but it does not completely remove the risk. Breast awareness means getting to know what your breasts look like and what they feel like. In other words, know what is normal for you. Breast changes can happen throughout your life and will be affected by your menstrual cycle, your age, pregnancy, the menopause, and taking the contraceptive pill, and aren't always a cause for concern. For example, it is normal for your breast to feel tender or lumpy just before your period, especially near your armpits. This happens when the milk producing tissue in your breast becomes active. During and after menopause, your breasts may change in size. They may also feel softer and less lumpy, 
as activity in the milk producing tissue of the breast stops. If you have a hysterectomy before the menopause, your breast may still feel tender or lumpy each month, even though your periods have stopped. This is because your ovaries are still working and producing hormones. You may notice monthly changes in your breasts until the time when your periods would have stopped naturally, the menopause. Breast changes to look out for include a change in size or shape of the breast, any swelling in all of part of the breast, any puckering or dimpling or redness of the skin. Breast changes to feel for include any lumps or thickening, any swelling or lumps under your armpit or around your collarbone. Other changes to be aware of include a nipple that has become pulled in or changed shape, any discharge or bleeding from the nipple, a rash like eczema on the nipple. Pain on its own is rarely a sign of breast cancer. These symptoms do not necessarily mean that you have breast cancer, but if you notice any changes that are not normal for you, especially if the changes are only in one breast, discuss this with your GP. In summary, we have discussed what a significant family history is and how that can affect your risk. How we manage your risk with screening or medication and if necessary, refer on to the genetics team. We have discussed changes you can make to your lifestyle to reduce your risk of breast cancer and what changes to look out for in your breasts. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully you have found the information useful and you will take time to watch the other videos in this collection. Additional information and links to relevant websites are included in the further information section after this video. We at the Family History Clinics in the Five Trusts are here to help guide and support you through this process so that you can live healthily with any identified risks. Remember, cancer is very common but rarely is it inherited.